guys, Christy here with Cake Adore Love and welcome to another video. This video is all about how to make a graduation rosette cake. This is actually going to be video part one where we're going to decorate each individual tier. And in video part two, I'm going to take those decorated tiers and stack them and walk you through that. Hopefully you like this video and if you do, we would love your support. Smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our blog. I will leave the links below. And with that, let's get started. Okay guys, just a quick glimpse of what went on in the baking process. Use your ingredients, make up your batter, and pour them in your greased and floured pans. Get them all ready for baking. I like to use 345 degrees. I also like to smash the top as soon as the cakes come out of the oven and uh, turn them over as soon as I can. I like to use as well this uh, file uh, rack here and I like to use them for cooling my cakes because I have a small kitchen. Now I'm going to be making my buttercream and whipping that up. You can see my shortening there, getting all this together. Now it's time to tort the cake layers. I like to lay down a nonstick pad and turn a big pot upside down, mark the sides of the cake with an edible pen uh, uh, so that I can realign the layers together. And I cut each layer in half and this is called torting. So we do this for all of the layers. Now we're going to fill every cake tier with the appropriate layer. And in this case, I am filling all of the layers with buttercream. Also, uh, because I smashed the top of the cake dome, I get a little bulge on the side, so I wanna trim that off, which is what I'm doing now. Then I'm going to do a thin layer of buttercream across uh, all of the cake tiers and use my bench scraper to clean up the sides and my offset spatula for the top. Now I'm gonna just trim the bottom there with some scissors. And this is actually going to be the rosette tier. And I actually did a video specifically on how to make rosette cake, so I'm gonna leave that link at the bottom below as well. Uh, and this one, I'm just gonna go through it really quick on how you know I decorate this rosette tier. I'm gonna use these straws to um, prep this cake for stacking. And we're gonna do that in the part two video. Uh, now I'm going to easily and simply trim them to size with some scissors here for each, each straw here. And when I'm all done with that, I'm just gonna keep this in the fridge. Now we're ready to work with our fondant. If your fondant is really firm, you can use the microwave for just a few seconds to soften it up, uh, use some powdered sugar to keep it from sticking to your surface, and roll it out with a big fondant ruler. You wanna make sure that you roll it out big enough to cover the top and the sides and make it about 1 8 inch thick. So you just wanna be you know, working that thin and even, evenly thin throughout. Uh, now we're going to cover our cake. You want to put a little bit of water, brush on a little bit of water. I missed recording that, sorry guys. Brush on a little bit of water with a brush onto your cake on just on the sides, and that will help the fondant stick to the cake. So gently open up the edges and with your hands, just gently uh, guide the fondant inward to hug the cake. It, does take a little bit of gentle um, guidance for the fondant. So you just work your way with that and smooth out, use your fondant smoother to smooth the fondant onto the cake as well. Now with all this excess fondant, you just wanna trim that out and we are done with that. And now you can take your fondant smoothers again and actually what I like to do is take two smoothers and kind of work the edges there and pinch the sides. Uh, if you can see that there, I'm like taking one horizontally and one vertically and I am kind of working the edges and you can see that the edge of this cake is becoming much sharper uh, from those like little pinches that I'm doing with the two smoothers. Uh, and this kind of gives you, this gives you a really sharp look if you are kind of going for that sharper 
sharp look with your cake tier. So now we're going to make the top of the graduation hat and I am taking an eight inch by eight inch cardboard piece that I cut out of a cake board and I am covering it in shortening. So once that's covered, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna start with preparing my, uh, working with my fondant. So I'm gonna work out my fondant and roll that out one eight inch thick uh, as evenly as I can and big enough to cover the eight inch by eight inch cardboard piece. Trim the edges, make sure um, it's cut to size and I actually cut it just a little bit larger so that it will um, be able to fold over the edges and grab this um, stick to the cardboard with the little bit of water that I am putting on the edge here. So now I'm gonna put this on top and uh, fold over the edges just a little bit so that it can grab um, that the water on the edge there. I'm going to now take a little bit of powdered sugar and make sure I smooth this out with my fondant smoother. Powdered sugar really is your best friend when you're working with fondant. It really helps the whole process so much better. So now I am um, done with the top there and I am going to smooth this out with my fondant smoother uh, on the edges and everything just to make sure it's really smooth and as clean as possible. I will share as well that this cap is actually going to be black, not white, but I don't like to make black fondant or stock black fondant in general. So um, I just usually, whenever I need black, I cover it in white and airbrush it. So that's what I plan on doing with this graduation cap. So here we are still smoothing it out and now we're done. So here we have the middle tier covered in buttercream all ready to go and I've made some red fondant to cover it with. What we have done today is made the top graduation cap and the bottom rosette piece with the straws and now we're ready for part two. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in our next video.